there's actually a lot of really interesting kind of out of the box mystical experiences that happened around that whole thing, um, that whole accident, but definitely gave me a different perspective on maybe spirits and heaven, afterlife, whatever you want to call it, uh, but whether spirits choose to leave their body or come back, all of that. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of other things I guess I could say, but yeah, that's one. I think it's so fascinating. I definitely believe we choose. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes people know when their death is going to happen too, which is also mm -hmm. a little weird. I think we have a lot more choice in the matter than we realize. Yeah. And I think if you've lost a loved one, that might be something to consider. Sometimes we, we give these reasons to not grieve. So of course still grieve, but sometimes I think maybe their soul chose to leave and it was the best choice for them not to come back. And it might be the best thing for them well, and then it even gets into the idea that is death the ultimate, the worst thing? You know, mm -hmm. I think in this world, yeah, we think death right. is the ultimate worst thing. And I don't think that, that that's just, if you have an eternal perspective and, mm -hmm. and I, you know, I probably have a different belief system a little bit because I do believe we come back. I, I do believe in reincarnation to some degree. So if you really believe that we're infinite, mm -hmm. then death, well, I mean, yes, there is reason to grieve. Absolutely. But I don't know that people are ever gone I don't know it just doesn't feel that way like even my grandmother I remember she died last year and I remember going upstairs and she was actually at home we, it was amazing because she um, my mom had brought her home and she had you know 24-hour care at home in one of my mom's in one of the bedrooms in my mom's house and and so I came upstairs and was in like had just popped my head in and she had her you know she was obviously breathing and I had the thought, which I'm convinced was her. I looked at her hair and I was like, man, Nani would never want her hair to be like that. Like mm -hmm. she always had her hair done, you know, she was the classy ass lady and she always had curls and her nails done and, you know, just like, and I saw her and, you know, on her deathbed and she was, didn't have cute hair and I was, and I literally went into the bathroom to go get a curling iron and then I walked back in and she had died mm -hmm. literally within it was, you know, minutes. I was just, I was two feet away as she passed away. And I just thought, and I felt, it was kind of the same thing. I felt her. It didn't feel like she had died. It actually felt like when she was out of her body, she felt more herself than she, while, yeah. when she was in her body, you know, because it was, you know, she had Alzheimer's and dementia. And she just was not herself. And then as soon as she stopped breathing, I felt like I felt the fullness of her. Mm. And she was big and wonderful and happy and almost just like, I could just hear her laughing and hear her. Mm. So I definitely think death can be a gift too. Cause I mean, I know for her, she was old and yeah, her body was not, she didn't, it, it was done. She was, it was time, you know, death was a good thing. I had a similar experience with my grandmother. I felt her so much more clearly when she passed. Isn't that interesting? It was the best thing for her. Yeah. It's so interesting. Here, so interesting. who would have known that we were going to get into all of this? <laughs> yeah. um, okay, now my next question is, what is a belief that you have that is kind of out of this world? Or like an un non-traditional belief that you have? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Probably all my beliefs. <laughs> <laughs> These are hard because I'm like, how, how weird do I get? <laughs> Go. Go for it. Give it to me. Oh, man. You're safe here and we can love anything that it doesn't feel safe. <laughs> well, I think you know all about my weird, uh, I have a lot of weird hippie beliefs when it comes to like products and food. And <laughs> oh yes, this is very true. Definitely. We're going to like link Alyssa and she has all these gift guides, natural living. Like I never knew that my dish soap was bad until all of a sudden this like big rock of a soap thing showed up and she's like this is better and we're and I sure enough it's way better it's I better. but it's not di liquid dish soap it's a rock of soap that just lives in the sink or what else actually that's a funny thing I should yeah what there's so many other things or like this is one of the things where I'm like mm, not so sure <laughs> So Alyssa is very particular about her toilet paper. It has to be like recycled trees and like real and I don't even know what the – and no chemicals or chlorine or anything because you don't want to wipe your ass with like bleach. Okay, got it. But it is not soft. And I'm like, I don't even care. I will buy like – I spend so much money on toilet paper, which actually I think your natural toilet paper is more expensive than like even Charmin. 
but Charmin is like way softer and so we have this like I'm like okay great there's no like chlorine on my ass but it's my ass is like chapped because it's all natural so that's one of the beliefs I'm obviously I'm exaggerating but you know don't you think the new paper we have is better no 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 you if we did a blind test with Charmin and Charmin should sponsor this because I'm like so into I like I, I, I can't do it. I'm going to, like, start sneaking it into the house and just, like, so that I could use it. I'm exaggerating, obviously. But one of the things that I am very happy about is, what's your cleaning supply stuff? Branch Basics. Branch Basics. It is, like, oh, man, that stuff is amazing. I'm never going back to that. Highly no. recommend. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. So, like, that's, like, laundry, like, stuff to clean the floors. I feel like it all smells good. It works really well. I love that. So that is a good thing. <laughs> you never shower. And I thought I never showered, but you're like, I mean, I guess we're a good pair in that way. Like, we are. <laughs> I mean, I was even filling out, like, an energy survey this past week, and it was like, how many baths or showers do you use in, in, per week? And I was like, one to two. Like, this is, like, not even I, – I feel like most people would probably lie about this, but I'm like, this is accurate. <laughs> Like one to two baths or showers a week is very, like, very realistic. Okay, the caveat is that we live in Santa Barbara where there's not very much humidity. And it's when I was in Florida, every day. Like, you get so sweaty, you have to shower every okay, day. Okay, this is true. This is true. It is a little easier to not shower living here. We don't get sweaty. This is very true. What other weird things? I feel like you have, like, the best dental health known to man. Oh, <laughs> Um, like the weirdest toothpaste. I'm that's always like, so why is there, why is your toothpaste in a jar? Like, I'm not using that. That's disgusting. And like, I don't even know. Actually, so many weird things. Wow. I haven't even thought about this, <laughs> but it's amazing. All the face oils. Like she was like, I was like, I need a natural skincare routine. Your skin is amazing. She's like, okay, uh, mine's really easy. It's like one step. <laughs> and she opens up her like medicine cabinet drawer and it's like 17 steps she's like first I use this oil and then I use this oil and then I use this on my eyes and then and I was like this is not she's like wow I thought it was way more simple <laughs> but than we it simplified is. it for you we did simplify it and then I bought the things and I love it and it made a difference there's so many things, but I love it. It's like, it's totally makes you who you are. Like the other day we were having a conversation and you're putting like oil in your hair, just like normal out of a jar, just like, and I'm like, shea butter, shea butter. I'm so She's, weird. I forget. I think I'm so normal. Yeah, no. And then I'm like, wait, I think those are some of my funny beliefs or my like crunchy hippie. I'm but then you'd never know it because you drive a Mercedes and you're like cute and have like Prada. So it's not like, yes. it's not, you're very balanced. Like it's not like, oh, I'm a hippie and here we are. Like I don't wear clothes. Well, actually. Sometimes. That's true. We do have a habit of like, here's all the weirdness. Oh my gosh. You're getting the real weird. This we do, is the real weird weird. The real weird. We are always naked outside in our backyard. It's so good for your body. It is. To have sunlight on all parts of your body. Sun and wind, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, we love it. We have a nice fenced-in backyard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I think the neighbors probably have seen us all naked at yeah, some point. They can but, listen to this podcast. But I'm okay with that. <laughs> like, whatever. I've been on a long journey. Like, since college, I started researching just alternative ways of caring for my body and natural health and non-toxic uh, skincare and hair care and you know, cleaning products. So it's been 10 years. I mean, in, in college, I was washing my hair with baking soda and vinegar. <laughs> so, so, so it comes. Nothing's it's changed, <laughs> but, but I buy more expensive shampoo now. It's, oh my gosh. So it's, it's still. <laughs> why is it? Baking soda and vinegar. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm really happy that we have essential oils in this, in the shampoo yes. these days. Let me tell you, I'm a fancier hippie now than I was before. But I just, I think he healing has always been something I've been passionate about. How do I optimize my body health, my mental health, my emotional health? And a lot of your mental and emotional health, I would say, stems from your body health. And mm -hmm. a lot of your body health is affected by the toxins in your environment and the food that you eat and the water that you drink. So, and the amount of sunshine that you get and the connection to nature that you have. And I guess these are my weird beliefs, but no, <laughs> they're very true. I, I think, think it's very true. I mean, I have to say I have the same beliefs and mm -hmm. you have just given me the practical tools to do mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. better. Like I thought I was like pretty non-toxic living. I'm like, don't get a candle near me. Don't get like any weird <laughs> scents. Like I can't do laundry detergent. Like I'm oh, pretty no. weird. 
But then, and I forget about it. You know, you forget yeah. that you have the weird beliefs until you, the other day I was sleeping in a bed that had like normal tide. And I, oh, I cannot. I was like, I can't breathe. Mm-mm. I can't, I can't either. breathe in this bed. And I was like, I'm sure I'm going to be itchy. Like mm-hmm. I just always am. And anyway, one of the things though, okay, you have to start all of these things because one of the things I was getting sick and I'm pretty sure I was getting sick with COVID, which who knows? I felt like it was COVID. This is maybe my weird belief. And I was like, I am not getting COVID. Mm-hmm. I refuse to get COVID. And I was like, Alyssa, open up your witchy medicine cabinet. <laughs> like, what are we going to do? And she's like, oh, I have all the things. <laughs> and I swear there was like 20, like a 20 step like protocol. And I just kept doing it over and over <laughs> again. And within 48 hours, I was like back to healthy. And I was like, <laughs> I'm convinced that all of those like throat sprays and like the millions of pills and blah, blah, blah. And I'm not gonna, not a doctor. So like, mm-hmm. I'm not going to tell you what to do. But oh my gosh, I was like, thank God for... Alyssa Loving because (laughs) I'm well and there's no way that I have ever been well so quickly from any sickness Mm -hmm. without even really getting sick. It was like I just was starting to feel sick and then was like, wow, I don't feel sick anymore. Okay, great. I mean, I I think a lot of it was boosting your natural immunity through uh, different things that I gave you, but I think a big thing is also your mindset. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of times we can choose to not get sick. Or we Mm -hmm. can choose to get sick, which is also okay because sometimes our body needs to rest. But sometimes if you just believe, I don't get sick, my body's healthy, I'm opt like my body's in optimal health. I think we've been almost saying that. We're healthy. I'm healthy. We have great immunity. Like you you kind of speak that too into existence. Maybe that's another one of my weird beliefs. But I think (laughs) and I don't think this stuff is weird. I think it's very true. The things that you think and believe are creating your reality right now. So very much so you know, your thoughts can create the way that your body is responding to your environment. Absolutely. Yeah. What's something that you think is possible that most people don't think is possible? Ooh. I mean, healing. I've seen a lot of cool healing miracles. Debt. I've had debt paid off three times, actually. Just completely. One, like, in a day. A lot of debt. Um, I love that question. Healing and like joy and happiness. I think I've seen a lot of people go from like we were just having this conversation about both of us a few years ago. Your life can be transformed very quickly. Mm-hmm. Go from uh, a really, really hopeless internal state to a really happy internal state and really peaceful and really stable. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think almost anything is possible if you choose to believe it. I don't think you have to have period cramps. I was just Mm -hmm. talking to someone about this the other day and I did this. I had period cramps the other day and I was like, no, this is not my portion. This isn't what I have to have. It was so crazy. I was just like, I choose not, I just choose out of the pain and the pain went away. And I think, I think there's a difference between resisting the pain, like, oh, I'm scared to feel, I don't want to feel it. And just choosing, no, I'm not going to feel it. And I am just so happy in my body and I don't need to feel the pain, which is neutralizing it. I think that resistance to the pain and judgment and fear can create more pain, but just like, no, it's not my portion to feel pain and I'm not going to feel pain and I just don't have to, and I don't, I'm not going to feel these period, like these cramps or whatever it is that choosing like lovingly, but choosing can actually create an experience of not having pain. Yeah. That's, those are some of my, <laughs> anything is possible beliefs. I, I mean, another thing is the more you clean up your health, your health, your skincare, your, your food routine the less cramps and pain and sickness you'll probably have. I totally agree with that. Yeah. Like even just hormones and little things. Like I know when I stopped using um, mm-hmm. tampons. Yeah, oh, like I for just sure. I was like, I'm done with tampons and all of a sudden my cramps went away. And I think I just, my body was like, I don't want, I just didn't want anything in there. Yeah. And then, I mean, I even started not using pads as well. Mm-hmm. I don't like anything that's like, you know, I basically free bleed or mm-hmm. will use. I love thanks so much, which I know if you're like, not into kind of this and that can be feel so weird but my gosh it's like it's the best yeah it's just the best oh it really is so I like that too um okay we're gonna wrap up here but like what's <laughs> one hope that you have for humanity oh my gosh I think to experience more love and more yeah. compassion and more connection I think it's all intertwined I think the more that you have compassion for yourself and you know you're lovable the more that you're able to open yourself up and be loved by other people, but vice versa. The more you're loved by other people, the more you are able to love yourself. Um, but that creates connection instead of division. And I think that's what that's a huge hope I have for humanity right now is that we all experience more love, more connection, more unity, 